Oh, woe is the bridge's woes. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Complete and utter annihilation. Just, just take my word. Don't even bother with it. Not for a while. Uh, Mirage is pretty extreme. Didn't realize they could access that right now. Uh, so I'm not going to focus on that one. I'm just going to focus on these last little three and we'll just get in and on and done with investigating the garden. Yeah, let's do it. Right now, right here, right now, let's do it! It's gonna be exciting. <sighs> Is there something wrong, Quistus? Oh, I just wish I was less busy. I hardly have any time to keep exploring the garden. Well, there's not much you can do. Still, remember when we moved seed here? Feels like ages ago. Yeah. We were conducting an airship test flight in the area when boom. There the garden was. It was crawling with mirages, but it was worth it for the technology and magic alone. The stuff here is way beyond what we had at the time. A brand new airship engine, this gun blade, the draw tech. Yeah, but we should have been more careful. The machines went berserk after we gave them to Shinra. In retrospect, isn't it possible they were connected to the Cogna? We should have done our homework better before handing over our findings. Hmm? So you're saying that the garden is tied to the Cogna somehow? Isn't that kind of a stretch? I see. You never did give Rain and Lon full access here. Now I know why. Just so you know, they still think it's because you don't trust them. What do you want me to do? If the garden really is some kind of Cogna haven... Oh, don't worry. Our friend here isn't like that. Eiko? Hm? Wait, what do you mean, our friend? Do you know something about the garden? Well, it's really more of a feeling. You know Big Bridge? I think the garden here is very much like him. Huh? So... Right. Maybe Balam Garden is just one big barrage. Although, when I reach out to touch its mind, it doesn't respond to me in the slightest. It must be sleeping way, way more soundly than I have ever seen with Big Bridge. Shall I try... waking it up? Uh, is that a good idea? I don't think that it means us any harm. But if things do get out of hand... Got it. We'll deal with whatever comes up. <sighs> I guess so. Why, thank you. Hey. Think you could wake up so we can talk? Can I ask what your name is? Eden. Eden of Balaam. Eden. <gasps> oh, oh no! So it is connected to the Cogna? No. Eden saying that waking it up opened some kind of pathway to another world. Usually, it chooses to stay in a deep sleep in order to keep the path closed. That's the only way this world will stay safe. Either way, we need to send them back. So, there are places like this where the Cogna can just break through? I'm not this sure myself, but if the Cogna have already taken over a world that's in close to contact with Grimoire, I, I'd rather not to think about it. Oh, okay, let's not think about it. I do have... An alternate form for Cheshire, though, as you can see. Anyways, uh, it looks like nothing we haven't seen before, so I guess I'll just well on them, like, it's no tomorrow. So, yeah, how exciting! Uh, turns out, Blob is some sort of giant, uh, Edelon thing, like Big Bridge, Alexander, something along those lines. Uh, we did get a little cue, something that I probably may have spoiled because, you know, I just didn't mean to access that cutscene right there and then. I didn't think it was going to be possible, but I digress. I guess it totally was. Also, I'm using the bigger stacks because I figure, hey, might as well, right? Uh, I didn't want to... I didn't want to... I didn't want... I wanted this stack. I wanted rain stack so I could use my, uh... My Kyrga ability, because I know she has it. Right there. Yeah, let's get it going. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. 
I don't really have much in the way of anything interesting to say about this part. It just is what it is, you know. Here I am fighting Einhander, fighting a roader, uh, roadster, whatever the wheelie, the wheelie cogna is. I had a little search eye or security eye or whatever they are, a little cogna eyeball thing. Oh man, Lon's about to topple. Also, they're looking a little weaker than usual. I guess, I guess I could use like protect range. Ra Let's try that range okay. counter stance. What's that gonna do? Is that gonna make it so we can? Uh, I probably, I should, probably should have looked at the at the abilities of that gives me. Anyways, let's give you a little cure action. Man, they're about to topple. I got a better idea. So does that range counter stance give them reflex? Uh, okay, all right. I don't know if that's gonna be useful in the slightest. I just have all new abilities. Actually, now that I think about it, let me get one of those wobble stoppers going so that don't happen. Here we go. That's better. Here we are. We're all better. I know I should just be focused on willing on them, but at the same time, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Einhander has a bit of HP in this Oh, and he, he really took rain into... Oh, wait, that's Lawn Stack. I'm not even paying attention to who's who. Wait, do you know? No, you totally ha Okay, I was a little confused. I was like, where'd my Cure Gun spell go? I was under the impression I still had that. It's not like he goes away. Eh, I guess. I guess. I guess I'll just, you just, you just take off a little ticket at a time, that's fine. I'll get this done and over with. I was gonna start focusing on the Roadster over there, but I don't think I need to. I think I got this, you know, even though he uses his blades, not that big of a deal. What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, you didn't do much. If you target Lana, it might be, a, might be sweating just a bit, but nah, this battle's already in the bag. We already won. Just gonna well on this guy, and I'm surprised they didn't, like, Stack or anything. I feel like that would have been the perfect thing. You got you got Einhander in the in the large stack. Well, that ought to do now it. I don't even know if Einhander was in the large. You got the roadster in the medium. At least I think it's medium, unless that is large. And then of course the little security eyeball thing. That would have been a small. No, that's small because it's in my stack and it's the small size. Looks like Eden went back to sleep. I think we're okay. The garden should be safe from danger, as long as our friend doesn't wake up. Got it. We'll take care not to disturb it. <laughs> well, I guess the moral of the story is don't let Eden wake up. Oddly enough, Eden was... A GF that you could actually get in Final Fantasy VIII, what but now? it was really well hidden. So you had to look. You had to go to like the what? secret research island, and you had to go get Bahamut because you could get him there. You got Bahamut before you got Eden. It, it was kind of cool, but at the same time, it was a uh, it was a weird place. But I digress. I guess we're gonna go back to Tomb Town, see Sid, Celeste, and Cloud just chilling. I'm gonna do that. Let's get that over done and done with in this part. Cloud, you back here again? Yeah. With all of these records here, there may be something on the guy I'm after. What guy? Ah, impeccable timing, Cloud. This book has given me a wonderful idea, but I'll need your help. What? An opera? Not interested. No way! Now, now, not so fast. Celeste, what did you say to me the other day? Because I can recall you lamenting how gloomy the town has been since that whole vampire ordeal. I might have said something like that, but how does an opera figure in? With their little hearts broken like that, they may never enjoy a book again. Sid, it's not that tragic. Hmm? It's not? Take two. With their little hearts broken like that, they'll never find the courage to fend off all the cogna. Oh, well, I suppose you're right about that. Do you see? This opera is perfect for unslumping the town spirits. You don't expect us to. Yes, 
It features a mysterious hero and a beautiful heroine. Who could be better for the roles? Back in my younger years, I used to be head over heads for this libretto. I'm not some opera floozy. I refuse to embarrass myself on stage. Sorry, but you can count me out too. Oh, don't say that. In fact, you can't say that because you're already on the flyers. So as the saying goes, break a leg. I ought to break your leg for doing that. Okay, get rehearsing. What? Uh, hold it. So, he knows I'm not doing this. Is that her? I think Celeste is serious. Is she gonna do it? Oh, my hero. Hmm? What do you want? A mirage? <clears throat> What's going on? Cloud, this freak fell out of nowhere. Watch it. Ta-da! It's so quiet in here, I could hear an octopus drop. You can hardly blame me for wanting to take over the place and save it for my retirement. I just flopped in to see who was making all the noise. Nobody arpeggios in my new cartaggio. Unless she happens to be a deliciously pretty lady. <laughs> who sent you? Was it the Federation? Yeah. <laughs> nope, never heard of him. I'm here to domesticate, not federate. And any bozo that gets in my way is gonna get mangled. Oh, but the young lady can stay and be my honey pie. This library is a sacred place. No one gave you permission to disturb it. Well, if you like your sacred library that much, I'd better do you a favor and hide it from anyone unsavory, huh? Here's a bright idea. Maybe I'll just squirt some ink all over these books. <laughs> Keep your tentacles off these books. I need them too. If you won't back off, then I know what's for dinner. I'm up for a little fancy cuisine myself. Not you again. Who, me? Oh, I'm just an innocent passerby. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, got it. Well, in that case... No one just passes through here, dummy! Huh? Oh, uh, let's do this! Oh, man, Ultros again? Don't I, don't I have him in my... Yeah, so... Because I levered him, I already have all the stats right there. Still, still pretty much the same thing, just uh, rinse and repeat what we had last time. Guess I'll use the good old fire ability. Oh, that did a thing. Uh, you're not a weak against wind, are you? No, you just don't really have any wind. Wind resistance. See how or, you like this. Or weakness. You're just kind of neutral to it. You're Whatever, I can still use it. Uh, not nearly as effective. Mind Blast! You have that ability? I wasn't ready for this. Alright, so... Long can't use any of his special moves. I guess I'll just I'll just well on you for the time being. Let's see. Anyways, so yeah, opera scene. That was in Final Fantasy VI. I remember that. I don't remember too much of it. I didn't really get that far in Final Fantasy VI, but I do remember the opera scene. It was it was magical. Uh, although I gotta be honest, wasn't quite expecting Cloud to get it on, in on that. I mean, the most I ever seen him do was just be a part of a play unexpectedly and Aerith was there but um, I guess Sephiroth already got there and took her away from Cloud because uh, that, that's what that long cut scene seemed to Im in seemed to indicate seemed to seemed to t like refer to or something along those lines I guess it doesn't matter Cloud's after Sephiroth he's the silver haired swordsman I actually said it right also, Ultros here, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I don't think he has... No, he has a lot of health. Oh, shit. Um, alright, fine. If I gotta deal with this, I'm gonna deal with it my own way. I want more AP, though. Alright, first step, we'll get a ton of it. We'll get a ton of AP. Second step, summon a Mega Mirage to just whip him into shape or something like that. I don't know. 
something a little bit like some sushi. That'd be pretty good. There we go. Now we're good. I don't need a champion. I need... I haven't tried Bismarck yet. Uh, but I don't really have any special abilities for Bismarck. I guess we gotta rely on Gildum for the time being. Fine, it is what it is. I'll do Gildum. It's all good. Gildum will save the day. He's strong. I made him strong. Here we go, Gildum man. He's got it. He's he's amazing. Oh man, I think we should do a little bit of a Gildum slash if you know what I mean. Bam! <laughs> uh, it's so wasteful on the AP though. I guess we'll just the, do the typical Gildum slash, not the grand Gildum slash, with his mighty sword that looks like the axe and ranger ship from. Mario RPG, I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's just the shape, maybe it's the little X that looks kind of like an eye. I'm not really sure, but my point is, I'll just chop this guy into pieces. It'll be amazing. My alarm's going off, telling me I have to go to work. Whatever, I don't care. I'll do what I want. This guy won't even know what's going on. Not that I think he does, man. It's Ultros. He's been a bad octopus. Oh man, I ran out of AP, this isn't good. But he is looking pretty peckish. Oh, he's got less than 10,000. That's still way too much, man. I can't deal with this. I just want you done, man. Actually, I don't have Oblivion, do I? I mean, not that I have. You know what? I got it. I got it. If I was gonna summon anyone, let's see. Uh, Celeste. Celeste would totally fix my problems. Saves the day! That should be the title of this. Uh, but yeah, it's early. Celeste, Celeste fixed my problem. Worked really well. I got a couple alternate Mega Mirages. You can expect that in the next part. It'll be fantastic for uh, the whole family. <laughs> Mama tried to warn me that the real estate market was going to crash. <sighs> Seems all the books are still intact. Thanks a lot, Cloud. I had my own reasons to help. Oh, and Celeste? Is that the libretto? Hmm? Oh! It's covered in that freak's ink! I guess that means the opera's cancelled, then. No, wait a sec! Maybe the duet at the end is still okay! Oh, uh, well, it's not like we can put on half an opera. Let's just shelve this idea. I'm sure we can find another way to cheer up the townspeople, right? Oh, well, I suppose. What a shame, too. You got a nice voice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep hunting through some more of these records. <laughs> what do you know? So I wasn't the star of either performance, but that's all right. What are you talking about? You stole the entire show! It was amazing! Also, I feel really bad. I mean, now I'll never get to see Celeste perform in that opera with Cloud, which I gotta say, I really want to see just Cloud go up and make a fool of himself. It would have been amazing. Guess I gotta add to that fanfic. Uh, yeah, because I'm totally writing it, you know, because now he cherishes uh, Lightning, Terra, and Celeste. Cloud has a little bit of a harem going in this game. A anyways, next time, uh, we're gonna do the final 
episode of these intervention quests. And then I'll finally get to make my way to kicking the Bahamushian king in the butt. Ugh.